Hello, in this video I want to show you an excellent workbook on multivariable calculus. So first let me just start by saying what makes this book so unique compared to the other books out there because there's tons of calculus books. So first this is a workbook, so it's not a textbook. That basically means it's going to have a lot less information than you would get in a regular calculus textbook. You might say, why in the world would you want to buy a book that has less information than other books? Well, because this book actually has really good examples. They are worked out and it has full solutions to all the exercises. If you look at regular textbooks that cover these specific topics, look at the specific sections in those textbooks, you will notice that this book is very good. Okay, it's extremely good compared to most textbooks for what it covers. So for what it covers, it does an excellent job. It has examples which I consider to be priceless. If you're trying to learn some of this stuff, you know, you open your book and you have one or two examples, then you go to the exercises and then it's like, well, there's no examples of this in the book. That's why you need this book because it has extra examples. It's going to make you better and you can get started right away. So it's called Calculus with Multiple Variables, Essential Skills Workbook. It includes vector calculus and full solutions. It was written by a man named Chris McMullen. Uh, and he has a PhD in physics. We have some cool formulas here on the back. It's kind of fun. I'm going to give it a whiff here. I've had this book for a while now, actually. Uh, it's been, yeah, quite a bit, quite a while. I feel like, it feels like I just got it, but that's not the case. I've had it for a while. And I think it's a great book. Here's the copyright 2021. And then here we have the contents. Let's take a look at these contents. So it starts with partial derivatives. So partial derivatives are pretty easy. It's a good place to start. And that's on page five. Then it jumps to a very interesting topic, which is good to know. And it's the chain rule with multiple variables. So this is a much harder topic. It's much, much messier. And this is a place where the book shines. It gives you those examples that really, really help you. Extreme values with multiple variables. Again, another example of where the book shines. Vectors, pretty easy. Scalar and vector products, pretty easy. Polar coordinates, pretty easy. Spherical and cylindrical, again, pretty easy, but again, I feel the examples here do add value. The gradient, again, pretty easy stuff. Divergence and curl, not too bad, but again, the examples here are very good. Normal and tangent vectors, again, really, really nice place where the book shines. Right here, here's where the book gets really good. Line integrals, very, very good to have examples of these. Surface and volume integrals, and then center of mass and moment of inertia. Really nice to have uh, these, these extra examples for these sections. And the other sections are good too, like partial derivatives and vectors and scalar and vector products, but I want to emphasize the ones I mentioned, those add, I think, the most value to this book um, because of these examples that it has. Before we look at the book, let me just show you the solutions in the back so you can see that they are indeed full solutions. One of the things I like about this book is that uh, the solutions are, are very clear and I, I just don't see how it can be any better. Um, you know, when you're writing a book, when you're putting something uh, on paper and you're explaining math on paper, you, you tend to want to skip steps because you don't want to make it too wordy or too long. You want your solutions to be clear. Chris doesn't hold back. He, ex he explains everything and shows everything. And so if you're just getting started or if you're not good at math or if you need extra help, then I think that this is a great, great place to start. So let's take a look at this first chapter here so you can see it's pretty simple. Really not that bad. Partial derivatives. You learn this in Calc 3. So all of this stuff, by the way, is things that are they're topics that you learn in Calculus 3. So you do some reading, some more reading, and that's it. You're done. You're, you're straight, straight to the exercises. And these are pretty good examples. I, I like these examples. I don't think that they're too easy. I don't think they're too hard. I think they're just right. And you've got some more examples here. Again, nice selection very much in line with what is found in textbooks. A textbook, again, is something that contains more topics, this has less topics. So, like, you know, Stewart's Calculus or something like that, those big, thick calculus books, those have way more content. Then here you've got some second derivatives, that's pretty cool. And then, yep, some mixed partials. Here we go, some mixed partials here. Yeah, good, good, good level of difficulty, I feel like, if you were taking a calculus class. Some of these might be test questions, you know, it's the right level for a test. Not too hard, not too easy. It's like, do you know the basics type stuff? So yeah, it's good. Here's where it gets a little bit harder. Uh, this is something that, I, I, you know, teaching this takes 
uh, a lot of extra effort, a lot of extra time, and you have to go extra slow because the problems are so long, it's easy for people to get lost. So Chris does an excellent job here. The chain rule with multiple variables. And there's just an example here. So it starts here. Let me show you the example so you can see. So given z equals x cubed y to the fourth, x equals s cosine t, and y equals s sine t, find del z del s and del z del t. And so you apply the chain rule, and then you just find these derivatives, and you plug everything in. And then comes the simplification process. I can find another derivative, plug everything in, and then you go through there and you get the final answer. So it, do, it does take uh, quite a bit uh, of work. He also talks about uh, the total derivative or total differential, which is kind of nice, and he gives you uh, an example there. And then here you have some exercises. So you've got three exercises here. These, these Again, these take some work. Uh, I, I would have a hard time, perhaps, you'd have to write really small to fit everything here. It's a workbook, so it's intended uh, to be written in, so you can actually write in here if you want to. However, for these problems, it's they're kind of long. I'd recommend writing on, you know, get a sheet of paper and write it out there, because you might mess up. There's not a lot of room here. So, so yeah, I mean, these, these take some work. Like, if I were to put this on a test, and this is, I would give the students maybe a whole page uh, for this one problem, or half a page, just so they could have room to work. When you restrict the room, it actually makes the test harder. Then here you have extreme values with multiple variables. Again, another really good place where I feel like the book um, adds a lot of value. It makes it worth it. And it's pretty short reading, right? It's not like tons of reading. And then you've got some great exercises here. Right? And then two more here. So only four problems, right? But hey, it's better than nothing. This book is super inexpensive. Uh, I will try to remember to leave a link in the description of this video to this book in case you want to buy it. So um, vectors, very easy. Not, not, not difficult. A lot of explanation here because there's a lot of different topics you can cover uh, when it comes to vectors. And he's got some variety of problems here, you know, all kinds of different problems. Even talks, uh, yeah, about the magnitude, acceleration. Here we go, velocity. So it's got some applications as well. So overall, I think this is a, an excellent book that you can use to get better at multivariable calculus. If you're taking Calculus 3, I recommend it. If you know some calculus and you want to learn some multivariable calculus, I also recommend it. Um, great for self-study. If you do get it, I would just say maybe just do a few problems a day, or at least at least one, and I think eventually um, you'll just get better and better at math, right? You get better at math by doing mathematics, so yeah. By the way, if you want to learn calculus, I do have courses. They're on the Udemy platform. But if you get them, check out my website and use those links because I've lowered the price on all my courses to the bare minimum. So if you use those links, you'll get a low price. MathSourcer.com. And if you found any value in this content, feel free to subscribe if you want to. Key takeaway is this is a calculus workbook. It's got some really good sections with some really good examples. And those sections alone make this book worth it, in my opinion. I hope it's been helpful to you. Keep doing mathematics.